So what does it mean to live a spiritual life? And to answer that question, I'd like to look at the spiritual life as a journey. And if you're traveling over land, if you're in the woods, if you're, if you're out in the wilderness, one of the things that you need is a compass. And I'd like to suggest that for the spiritual life, there are four compass points that are really necessary to help us to orient ourselves so that we have a sense of where we are and also where we're going. So I'd like to look at those four compass points or those, those four dimensions of the spiritual life in this video. The first compass point is to live the questions. Spirituality does not begin with answers. It begins with questions. The word mysticism has its root in mystery. So what are the great questions of the spiritual life? Well, they're the great questions of life. Who am I? Why am I here? What is my purpose in life? Is there a God? Does that God love me? What do I need to do to respond to God and to respond to God's love? What is contemplation? What is mystical wisdom? How do I apply that wisdom to my life? These are sacred questions, and tending to these questions really give us that first point on our sacred compass. The second point is to discover the gifts or to receive the charisms. Charism is a Greek word that basically means gifts. In this context, it means spiritual gifts. What are the gifts that come to God from us? Well, we can look at a variety of gifts. Obviously, our lives are our most fundamental gifts. Our relationships, the world that we live in, our talents, our abilities. But even we can look at silence as a gift. We can look at the great writings of the saints and mystics as gifts. We can look at the church as a gift. We can even look at our own woundedness and our own brokenness as gifts that God gives us to help us to grow and to help us to open our hearts to the love of God. The third compass point is to remember the stories. Human beings are storytellers. And from the dawn of time, we have told stories about our ancestors, about our heroes, the great exemplars of our community, of our faith, of our tribe. And so when we talk about the spiritual life, the great exemplars would be the mystics and the saints and the sages, the holy women and holy men who have come before us. And it is in their journey toward the love of God that we can find wisdom to illuminate our journey. So remembering their sacred stories, reading their writings, learning from their teachings becomes an important compass point on the spiritual journey. And finally, the fourth compass point is to embrace the practice. Spirituality is more than just the stories we tell, the questions we ask, or the gifts we receive. It's also about how we respond to those blessings in our lives. How are we orienting our lives toward the love of God. What choices are we making? What commitments are we embracing? With spirituality, how are we committing ourselves to the life of prayer? How is silence a part of our life? How do we enact love and compassion in our journey? So this is also an essential part of knowing both where we are and where we're going. So the four compass points of the spiritual life are not so much lessons to learn, but they're really just landmarks that help us to see who we are, where we are, and where we're going. The spiritual journey ultimately is a journey into the love of God. And so these compass points can help us to find the way.